Welcome back. Pneumonia is a leading cause of death for contagious diseases here in the United States. Now, while common, doctors say it can be difficult to diagnose and to treat. For your, your life, your health, Heather Simonson tells us about a cutting-edge tool that's saving lives. Cindy Cook is still recovering from an illness she got last January. You know, I keep my oxygen above 90. Her doctor knew right away it was serious. Just by the coloring of my face, he could tell that I was really sick. I could tell he was moving fast. And he said, you guys have got to get right to the ER. Cindy was septic and her vital organs were shutting down. Doctors decided her case was serious enough. They flew her to Intermountain Medical Center. In the ICU, Dr. Nathan Dean with Intermountain Healthcare used a clinical decision support tool called e-pneumonia to diagnose and treat Cindy. Do you feel like this is a game changer in treating pneumonia? Well, I think so. No other system is like this in the world. Yeah, this is a healthy lung. The electronic tool gathers a patient's symptoms and vital signs to assist the doctor in a diagnosis. So things like fever, whether the patient has a cough, uh, whether they're, what, the white blood count is elevated. Then it guides doctors in making better decisions about care, like whether a patient should be sent to the ICU, admitted to the hospital, or is safe to go home. Dean says it's been vital during the pandemic. Pneumonia is the leading cause of death from COVID. COVID uh, really has been an epidemic of a viral pneumonia that we had no immunity to. A study published in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine found e pneumonia reduced deaths by 38% and safely decreased intensive care unit admission. It also suggests the tool can be useful in smaller community hospitals, as well as larger urban centers. There's my smile, happy to be a live smile. <laughs> Cindy says it helped save her life. I'm forever grateful. She's also thankful for the lessons she's learned that have nothing to do with medicine. I've learned that you need to slow down, that life is, there's so many things that are more important. And for technology that's helping her heal.